everybody. Oops. Uh, I'm Apsun Namini, thank you, John, uh, from Washington, D.C. with the World Wildlife Fund, and I want to share a brief video showing why I'm here today to talk about protecting Africa's iconic species and how you can help in your business to disrupt the transport of illegal wildlife traffic. Last year was the worst year in Africa, which saw the highest number of elephants and rhinos being poached. This is a full-scale assault on the wildlife resources of Africa. It's time for a redoubled effort to control that problem. They come in with rifles, or AKs, they chop off the, the horn and run out with it. That's what they, they normally do. It's very, very sad. When these animals are being killed, illegally killed for illicit trade, there is a small group of people who are profiting at the expense of the many, at the expense of local communities. They are depriving them of potential future opportunities for pursuing legitimate development operations. So you see, this is the sad reality right now. Uh, for those of you who don't know WWF, we are a global conservation organization with a mission to protect the future of our planet for people and nature. We have a, about 100 offices all over the world, including nine here in Africa, and over 5 million members across the world supporting this cause. Wildlife may be what we're known for, but we work on many issues supporting a sustainable planet, including clean oceans, fresh water, sustainable food systems, climate resilience, and healthy forests. Many of the wildlife species we protect play an integral role in the environments they live. Elephants and rhinos are considered keystone species. They are key to the health of the entire ecosystem, dispersing seed, allowing for new plant growth, digging wells to support other wildlife, Along with other wildlife, they can hold significant cultural value to people and communities across the region. And they, of course, as we've talked about today, help to drive revenue through nature-based tourism. Unfortunately, their very existence is being threatened. So how big is the problem of wildlife trafficking? It's a global challenge. This map shows the air trafficking routes that were attempted to transport ivory, rhino horn, reptiles, and birds over the last seven years. Each line is a route where law enforcement has made a seizure, showing where illegal wildlife was caught through the supply chain of airlines. You can see how concentrated the lines are between Africa and Asia. The darker the line and the larger the bubble, the more that route is being used to smuggle wildlife. This is why I'm very happy to be talking to you today, because you, the African business community, can become part of the solution. To share more about the impacts, the illegal wildlife trade is one of the largest black markets in the world. Africa's elephant population continues to decline, and the global illegal ivory trade remains highly active. Here are some of the hard, sad facts. Approximately 55 elephants are killed every day for their ivory. A rhinoceros is killed every eight hours for its horn. More than 300,000 live birds are trafficked annually. And tragically, very tragically, a ranger is killed in the line of duty on average every three days. In addition to the pressure on already vulnerable species, the safety and health of staff, passengers, and the, and the public are also being compromised. And from, it's not just elephants and rhinos either being attacked. We're seeing significant drops in species like pangolins, reptiles and birds, these are Africa's natural resources that are being exploited, often for the profit of a few and at the cost to future generations of Africa. 
This illicit trade has the potential to disrupt entire ecosystems that support human livelihoods and well-being. It can contribute to regional instability and armed conflict. It's important also to note, illegal wildlife trade doesn't operate in a vacuum. It's linked to other illegal trades like human and drug trafficking, none without danger, putting people and companies at risk. Let me take a moment to outline some of the risks to your business. Reputational risks. Particularly in instances of seizures, there's the possibility of negative press, which may affect customer perception and loyalty. Economic risk. Negative publicity may result in reduced passenger volume. There may also be flight delays in the instance of illegal wildlife caught on a plane. And even more broadly, there's financial risk to companies and countries that rely on nature-based tourism as a result of the decline of species and in the dangerous environments that are often created. Security risk. If wildlife is being trafficked through the supply chain, chances are other illicit goods are too. And finally, there are health and safety risks. Traffic wildlife and wildlife products can be hazardous to passengers and those who come in contact through the transmission of zoonotic diseases like SARS, Ebola, or avian flu. And of course, there's also the potential for actual attacks if you are uh, inadvertently transporting live animals and one gets loose. So what can you do about it? To address the pressing issue, USAID launched the Routes Collaboration, of which WWF is a partner. Route stands for Reducing Opportunities for Unlawful Transport of Endangered Species. The collaboration brings together government agencies, transportation and logistic companies, NGOs like WWF, and law enforcement. It forms a key element of a concerted international response to address wildlife poaching and the criminal activities associated with it. Along with our partners, the goal is to improve the ability of transportation personnel to assist law enforcement to combat wildlife trafficking. C4ADS is a DC-based analytics firm. They help expand the knowledge and data on wildlife trafficking in the transport industry, and they can customize the data to show the risks posed to your company's specific flight routes. At WWF, we engage companies and share best practices for how you can fill some of those gaps in your supply chain. Traffic is a global trade monitoring network, and they provide trainings for transportation to staff to identify and report wildlife crime. IATA is one of your industry associations that helps integrate wildlife trafficking policy into relevant industry standards and protocols. And finally, we work with an anti-trafficking organization called Freeland. They help us to increase awareness with the public and employees through installations at airports, um, posters, and other collateral materials. All of these are available to you. That brings us to what you can do. These are, there are some simple steps you can take to protect your airline and join the fight with us against this devastating illegal trade. You can start by making a commitment. Many of you have already signed the, the Buckingham Palace Declaration, but if not, you still can. You can make an external public announcement, put that statement on your website. You can make an internal staff announcement, let your employees know that this is something you care about. Last year, I was at the ATAC conference in Geneva, so I know that the uh, sustainable development goals are important to this uh, sector, the aviation sector. Goal 15 is specific to life on land with language about wildlife trafficking. So connect your anti-trafficking efforts to your own SDG commitments. And while you are talking to your staff, you can also help them understand what they should be looking out for. You can display posters or banners in common area spaces. For training, we have role-specific models, like for passenger screeners or carbo cargo acceptance personnel. These can be uh, integrated directly into your own trainings, including new hire materials. 
We, at, through the Routes Collaboration, are available to help guide you on how best to use all of these materials. And on the policy side, you can strengthen your own standards by doing things such as committing to a zero tolerance policy if you don't already have one, adopting a whistleblower policy so people aren't fearful to make a report. And it's also important to note you, to, you need to have a standard reporting process so staff can easily know who they should alert if they suspect something. Our goal is to make impact. That wasn't me, was it? <laughs> Our goal is to make impact, <laughs> that kind of impact, uh, to create an industry shift where airline staff know how to safely detect and report instances of wildlife crime and make it harder and harder for this illicit trade to continue through your supply chain. And also, it should be noted, taking action against wildlife crime is commendable, and you should be sharing your great work that you were doing with your customers through any touch points you have available. Your website, in-flight magazines or materials, and social media. We have plenty of examples of great things that other airlines are doing we're happy to share. For today, I want to end with uh, this video and with its message that it's possible to stop wildlife trafficking, but we need your help because together, anything is possible. After the video, I'll leave up our contact information and website, and feel free to stop by our booth today or tomorrow. My colleague Corey and I are happy to chat more.